it's important for an individual as well as an enterprise to mean something and to stand for something. I agree, and I think often people confuse leadership and management. Both are important. But I personally think that leadership is a lot about standing for something and having values that people understand mm -hmm. and that they're constant values so they sort of know where you're going to go with decisions because the values shine through. Number one thing, have an environment where people believe that the leaders of the business care about them. Make it a point when you know somebody has suffered a loss, there's an illness, when there's been a mistake. If people believe that you care about them as individuals, good things will happen. The leadership of the firm should not be greedy. Situations where you have CEOs making 200 times what the lower paid employees do, that to me is an absolute sign of disrespect. Sometimes when I see these wonderful mission statements of companies, clients that we work with, that are not connected with what the leaders in the business do day to day, then it's sort of for nothing. It isn't just the chief executive or the chairman, it's the people on the front line, the managing directors, the directors, the team leaders. Unless they're really living the culture, then these, in my experience, tend not to be the most successful companies. It's almost easier with newer businesses because you're starting with fresh pieces of clay. It's more difficult when you, in the context of an acquisition or a merger. The toughest thing is to get two or more cultures to be integrated in an effective way. The earliest impact, personally, was when I was the only white baseball player on a police athletic league baseball team in South Jamaica, Queens. We would play teams from other communities, and those teams were, generally speaking, all white. Being other, that was an amazing lesson to me. It reminds me, when I was at uh, university, one of my very best friends uh, went on to have a spectacularly successful career as a commodities analyst. And he once said to me, Simon, if you have a bad day and a bad meeting, you go home and think about, you know, what didn't go right, what went wrong. He said, you never have to think. I wonder whether that meeting didn't go well because I was the only black person in the room. We should start with inclusion because gender or their sexuality or their ethnic origin becomes secondary. By making people feel included, then they feel a vital part of an organization. Mm -hmm.